Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. And today's video is back by popular demand, the part two of my tips for brides to be. You people asked in the comment section, well, I asked and you people answered and I'm here to deliver. But today we're going to be taking it from a different perspective, a perspective that I believe is not talked about enough. And I pray that at the end of this video, it would have been of help to you, lovely fiance who is getting ready to become a wife. When we think about being a bride or preparing to be a bride, and I can say we because I've been I've been down that path, right? What do we normally think about? We normally think about the wedding day. We normally think about our dress, our hair, our makeup, our bridesmaids, the bouquet, the decor, the cake, everything concerning the big day. But we fail sometimes to recognize, as the ladies who are walking down that journey or that season, fail to recognize that the marriage is not the wedding. Being a wife, is not the wedding and while you can plan and exert a lot of energy planning for the big day you should not dare neglect the life that comes afterwards so these tips that i'm going to share just three tips are going to be focused on the mindset of a virtuous woman and when we look at proverbs 31 it gives us a beautiful description of who a virtuous woman is of who a godly wife is of who a godly woman is is so we're going to be looking at how to prepare yourself to become a wife and that is well they fall under the tips for brides to be because you have to prepare yourself to be a wife not just to be a bride now this is a bonus tip it's not included in the three that i have to share and i'm going to share it first simply read watch videos online talk to experienced women and hear and learn perspectives learn advice learn wisdom learn from these resources so that you can garner knowledge don't just be focused on the wedding don't just be focused on the big day ensure that you plan for yourself your mindset your thoughts what are the visions you have for being a wife what are the plans or the things you plan to implement what is the direction that you want to go how do you picture yourself do you think you're ready to be a wife can you take on all the responsibility do you think you have the mental capacity the mental fortitude are you ready from a mental standpoint from an emotional standpoint from a physical standpoint all of these things have to be considered so miss fiance do not spend the entire time planning for your wedding that you neglect yourself okay because when that wedding is done and everybody leaves it's going to be you and your husband starting a life together so i have three tips to share with you briefly as quickly as i can i don't want this video to be long all right so number one a wife must develop an attitude of serving or an attitude of giving right so as a wife you are required one to actively play your role as the help meet to your husband and in that you are serving him you are aiding him you are giving to him we always hear this saying you know that we are you know, supposed to be his peace and persons may have all of all different things to say about that but as his wife you are required to serve him you're required to give to him you're required to care for him to take care of him you know and as the Bible tells us that we are to submit ourselves to our own husbands. He is basically, well, Sarah called Abraham Lord. He is basically the one who leads. He's basically your leader, your head. And the Bible does tell us that the head of the woman is the man. So you are to serve him. You are to care for him and give to him. If you see where he is falling short, do not point it out in a negative way. Do not highlight it in a bad way. I'm not saying you are to sugarcoat anything. But you're supposed to serve him in a way that is done with dignity and a way that is done with love. So you take pride in cooking dinner. You take joy in ensuring that the space is clean. You take great joy in ensuring that he's well taken care of because you look at it as a blessing to serve your husband. 
so develop this attitude of giving and serving because you're gonna have to do it a lot you're gonna have to do it a lot and you have to get used to it and you have to allow it to become second nature so if you think and we're honest people around here if you think that you have a a problem with giving and a problem with serving if you don't think you're at that place yet I would say to you seek to work on that because being a wife it requires a lot of serving it requires a lot of giving so you might want to check that out if it is that you realize that you're probably not at that place number two you must be quick to forgive i know as women sometimes we hold on to things and we may be a little petty sometimes but as a wife you ought to be quick to forgive first and foremost as a child of god you need to be quick to forgive quick to release quick to show mercy quick to be graceful and gracious do not allow situations to to bind you in anger and in resentment be open and loving enough as our father is to forgive your husband things will come up you don't see eye to eye i don't care oh you know you're my best friend from like primary school, elementary school, this, that, that, we grew up together in the same neighborhood, this, that, 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 that. You're not going to see eye to eye all the time. And I'm telling you, it's one of the most painful things when the person that you love with all your heart hurts you or does something unintentionally to hurt you. It stings, right? But you as a child of God, you have to have that forgiving heart to forgive and to let go and to release. Yeah, so you have to work on that. As a wife, don't practice holding things. Don't practice revenge. If you think that you're a revengeful person now in your single life, marriage will amplify that. Marriage will shed a spotlight on that and bring it to the forefront. So I say to you, you have to, you have to work on being forgiving, work on being loving, work on releasing things, work on allowing things not to get to you right because you have to be forgiving you have to be forgiving and number three the final point is learn to manage your emotions as women whether you admit it or not like it or not we are emotional beings we are emotive beings women tend to feel more women tend to show emotion more and this can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing a bad thing when it is not managed properly when you don't manage your emotions properly sometimes situations may arise in the marriage and your heart may process it faster than your head and so you may give a heart response but not a smart response and that's okay it happens it happens but you can do many things you can use resources you can seek to speak to persons you can read up you can learn how to manage your emotions better so that your emotions don't get the best of you in moments and you say things that you're going to later on regret you're going to say things that you didn't mean to say in the moment but because of mishandled mismanaged emotions it comes out and words 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 physical wounds will heal they may leave a scar some scars may fade but when words go out and they pierce the heart they're not easily forgotten so as you seek to prepare to become a wife think about that aspect of your being how you manage your emotions how you regulate your emotions how you respond when you're angry when you're upset when you're frustrated when you're irritated you know and it's not about being controlled it's not about not being true to yourself as children of god as daughters of god and you know this is a christian channel so a lot of the things that i say if i don't have a scripture i'm going to speak about it from a biblical standpoint pulling different verses pulling different biblical references as children of God, you know that you're supposed to exemplify love, show forth love, Christ-like compassion, be peaceful, be kind, be good, you know? So when you show emotion, it doesn't matter what you feel. The Bible says be angry and sin not. It doesn't matter what you feel. Christ is to be glorified even when you're upset. 
yeah so learn to manage those emotions as you seek to transition into marriage because like i said for the previous point marriage will literally shed light on those dark areas that are hidden or that are forgotten marriage will test your character it will test who you really are so i say work on those things don't just keep your eyes and mind glued to the wedding day think about your character think about things that you can work on managing your emotions being forgiving right and having an attitude of serving or a servant's heart and that brings me to the end of this video thank you so very much for watching i hope this has been helpful and i definitely will be sharing some more tips i mean i've been married for a year and some months but i've learned a lot and the word of god is my anchor so i am really willing to share any knowledge and any wisdom that i would have gained and anything that the lord would have revealed to me or taught me or anything that i would have learned from persons that i know is tried and true and it works i am willing to share to help a sister out you know sometimes there's a lack of knowledge in these topics or on these topics that persons don't share about so if i can help i am going to help so with that being said thank you so very much for watching this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and if you know a young lady an older lady too i mean right anybody a bride to be who is getting married and you feel led to share this with her go right ahead we're all here to help each other out but until next time i'll see you in my next upload Take care of yourselves. Bye.